Hello everyone, and once again, welcome back to my Gendermender playthroughs of this time of Lynn. We are on episode 2 now. Once again, this is a picture of Dan and everyone else at the beach, I think. Oh, this is going to be funny right here. <laughs> we'll see why momentarily. Well, considering what just happened, they probably want to get back to normal as soon as possible. Duh. Well, you can't really argue with it when it comes to Lynn's opinion here. <laughs> Linda. Linda's not a cute name for starters. How did you come up with Linda from Liam? How did you get Lynn from Linda? Oh. Neko eyeballs. And I'm back to normal. Sorry about that. I had to suppress a yawn. For some reason, yawns aren't always when you're tired or bored. Sometimes this happened for no reason. So bizarre. Nah ha Phone in sick, Yale. Wear a hat, Yale. I love how they're so optimistic. They're just like, oh, it will be done by tomorrow. Broaden their life experience. Uh huh. Like being traumatized is part of a life experience. <laughs> Poor lit. Uh, poor Dino. The title goes to Dan. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, I forgot how they magically changed sizes like that. Where did all the fat cells go? And speaking of which, why are they not hungry? Because from what I've seen, hunger is kind of a thing that comes with a recent transformation because of how much energy you had to burn in order to get it to happen. So why the hell are they not starved? Maybe their stomach's shrunk. You haven't thought about it yet. Hmm. Yeah, or clothes, by the way, but given the situation, I couldn't really see how you could predict what clothes to have. Women clothes are weird like that. They have, like, double the amount of sizes that we do. And I mean, like, actual sizes, not just, like, flat, not flat or anything. I mean, like, legitimate sizes. Dana. <laughs> kind of sounds like Dana, which is the, the Japanese word for husband or something like that. Dana! <laughs> it's not a moment I get boobs. <laughs> uh, implants. Big ol' bag of nope. For those who don't know, bag of nope is just some weird way of saying nope. I 
Uh, I know endorphins have something to do with it. <laughs> What's more important? <laughs> Miss already has boobs. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, seriously, these things have, like, cat heads or something. Look at that. Got little ears, got the little face. Get it. But I don't know what this thing is. But I know what this little thing up here is a kitty. Oh, see, there's the kitty. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> oh, that problem. Right. I remember now. That took me a second. Allie... I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, for starters, a guy was wearing clothes like this. Just to start with. A guy was wearing this. I don't see it. Second... If you saw Breeze play through, you know that Dan accidentally opened the doors, letting all that gas out, and guess who got hit with it? It took me until recently when I was filming it to figure that out. I may have actually mentioned it when that happened. It's been a couple of days, and I have a bad memory, so I don't know. Part of me wishes that this was a playable character, and the other half wishes that it wasn't. <laughs> Which is, it currently isn't anyway, so... I'm pretty divided about whether or not to play this... This character should be playable. On one hand, I really want to know what was going on in their, li in their life before and after this event. And on the other hand, I really just feel like it's best not to elaborate. Because the imagination is better than the official thing over half the time. I need to keep an eye on the time. That was me scratching my nose. I just realized how loud that was. Yeah, I think you guys can hear the background music. Alayan. I just still don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Alayan or... If anyone knows in the comments how to pronounce that, please say so. Because that is really annoying that I don't know how to pronounce that weird name. Oh my god, another burp. It must be what I'm eating for lunch or something, because I sure, because I really didn't have that before lunch. Nathan seemed confident on the phone, despite what happened. Wait, 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 wait. On the phone, not a video phone. So how do you know it's Nathan then, outside of some sort of passcode or something? I mean, when you pick up the phone, for example, you pick up the phone, and some person that you know is like, Hey, we need contact insurance. We all just got transformed into women. You would probably laugh your... You would probably laugh like you would not have ever laughed before. Because that's the dumbest thing you've probably ever heard. So I'm curious as to how all that happened on Nathan's cell phone calls. Turn him into a cow. The secondary lab is, ah, right there. Almost at it. Danny. There needs to be a little eye there. Danny. Just to screw with Dan. Deanna or Dora. <laughs> yeah, Deanna just doesn't fit. Carter Danny. Or Danny for Danielle or something. No, Danielle. Yeah, it's just Danny. 
kind of sounds weird, actually, because you think of it as like the D-A-N-N-Y rather than the D-A-N-I. Hmm. Don't rush. Rushing got us this far. Boring. Look at that face. Oh, that face changed. Plus, she has a very hard center of gravity now that she's shorter than usual. Oh, you fail to see how she see being short is a bad thing. I see. By the way, I know that she was talking about something different, but it's still funny to say. Who is this in the background with the palm tree? That's really starting to bother me now that I know that that's a palm tree. I thought it was like a dragon, dragon or some sort, because I never paid any attention to it. But now it's a palm tree, so now it's bugging me. Who are you? Hoping, I'm hoping to be able to finish the recording for this today, actually. I had to have a break because my sister came home earlier than I expected her. So I had to stop recording and help her with spring cleaning. But thankfully she left again, so I can still record. By the way, no one and My sister and parents do not know, by the way, that I'm actually doing this, for obvious reasons. But even when I was filming normal stuff, I just don't feel like they'd approve in general. I just realized I'm about to go two episodes without them even going to bed. I just realized that. Hold on. Oh, that explains that part. I was trying to turn this mic off. Well, trying to turn it on, but I was ending up pushing, which would make it turn off. Not pulling, which made it turn on. Oops. Okay, so here's choice number one. I can't remember which one gets me the mermaid ending. So I'm just going to go shopping with Dina, because that seems to be pretty consistent with the storyline for everyone else. Danielle, we're forcing you to come with us. <laughs> That's basically what's going on. Dan just wants to get out of this body as fast as possible, so that's why Dan's sticking her around. See? Manly man, really? I agree with Lynn on this one. Oh yeah, take your mind off the fact that you're now a girl and not a guy. Why is Dina's name clear over here even though she's standing over here? That's not how that works. I don't know if you guys can hear the music when I'm that far back. Yep, it's definitely louder. Not just because it's a different music. Outfits for high 
high school is. And yet Bree went shopping there. Wow, Lynn. Way to be insensitive, Lynn. This wall is a sexy rock. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever said. Okay, not that dumbest, but it's definitely up there. Random stuff, but this wall is still sexy. <laughs> and this is abstract art for no reason. Where is your dressing room? I never realized this. This place doesn't have a dressing room. And there's the holes in the glasses again. That bothers me so much that they're a different color, though. <laughs> Red to be adorable. Now Dina notices the glasses. Sure. There we go. I'm having cord troubles. So if you hear me shuffling about or something, it's because of the cord troubles, because I sit in an office chair, and it runs over the damn cord. Because my gaming piece, because my gaming headphones decide to have a ten-foot-long cord. Never just be satisfied. It makes you unambitious and lazy. Like myself. <laughs> oh, there's another one coming. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I almost, oh, I almost missed that. Ooh. Bedroom scene coming up. Speaking of which, it actually showed up in the second episode, but just barely. Just another moment. I think I need to start having that for dinner instead of lunch. Now, from what I've seen, Lynn just goes straight for business. So I'm just, that's a PlayStation 3 with... That's the fat PlayStation 3 with backwards compatibility built in, by the way. I just want to point that out. Because the modern ones are flat. Now, I'm going to go with the ending that everyone else uses, so that's actually a part of it. So that also means de -de -de -de. I'm just going to extend this just to be safe because Dina might do that too. Oh, oh, there, there we go. Oh, didn't need to see that. At, at, at. Sorry. Sorry, but I can't show that. Plain and simple. I'm pretty sure she wasn't wearing a bra anyway. Not like we really missed it. She was probably just looking in the mirror. And yes, same thing with Brie as it is right here. No top. Dean is the only one where you actually get to see her bra with her panties on. Everyone else just for some reason takes the bra off. So annoying. At least for filming anyway. Not messing with it. Not... Not messing with it. Can't risk it. What did you think I'd be doing? What do you mean you don't know? That part's sticking out. OCD mode activated!
By the way, she didn't slam her own door shut. She shut Dina's room, which is right across the hall. Not messing with it. Hey, you said days, and now you're extending it to months? Next thing you know, you'll be extending it to centuries. Oh good, the bra's on it at last. <sighs> that explains the laptop. I'm not going to risk it just yet. Just not going to risk it yet. Don't want to have to deal with it. Okay. <laughs> There's... <sighs> this game. You were already wearing it. What did you have to change it? Inconsistency. Oh, meet Bree, which, as I've said before, you know, that's what she's going to look like pretty much regardless. That's why I chose that on her first night. Busted. That's right, I forgot Dina was the one who went to go check up on Dan, so she got, like, no hours of sleep. Yeah, but then you can't see the necklace. Which disappears, by the way. The disappearing necklace makes its return. I just want to point out that, these, that this shirt magically adjusted to her new size, by the way. I just want to point that out. Hope the mic didn't pick that up. Why was Boxer selling fake glasses? I just realized that. Dana! Does this scare the crap out of her? Does she pops up out of her cabinet or something? That'd be funny. I don't think she succeeded right away, did she? Nope. I was gonna say, if she did, then I might actually have to pop the sticky note on. Once again, Dina said she doesn't want to be cute. Period. <laughs> not the same. It's not the same, but it's the same length. Just a moment. I had one of the dreaded yawn plus burp combinations. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. On the other screen. <laughs> I keep forgetting that this game doesn't make your mouse disappear. So I'm always curious about where'd my mouse go? Or rather, the cursor. But still. Oh 
Got another one. Oh, what time is it? Oh, time to put a cut. Sorry about that, I cut my mic off a little early. It's time to put in a cut. So, as soon as it transfers... Fuck it. I'll see you all in episode 3. See you later, guys.